if you're purchasing a home using a VA loan, you're gonna to have to have a, an appraisal. Here's a few things you need to know about that appraisal. As I said, the first thing is the, the appraisal is required when you're purchasing a home using a VA loan. Secondly, VA appraisals have a fee that is set by the VA for each county, and that varies by county. For example, in Spokane, it's $800 for a single family primary residence. Number three, VA appraisals have a set timeline for return, meaning from the day the appraisal is accepted by a VA appraiser, there is a 10-day time frame limit in the Spokane County area. In outlying areas, uh, in smaller counties outside of Spokane, that, that limit goes up to 14 days. This can be a huge advantage in a market like right now because appraisals are so busy, they can take a longer time to do conventional or FHA appraisals. VA appraisals review two things every time an appraiser goes to the property. They're gonna look at the property's value for the lender to make sure the home is worth what the lender's lending you. And secondly, they're gonna look at the condition of the property. The property condition requirements or minimum property requirements, MPRs is what they call them in the VA, are similar to those of, of the FHA appraisal. Things like chipping and peeling paint, handrails, and those kind of things are the most common things that seem to come up. And again, it's similar to what happens in an FHA appraisal. One thing that's cool and unique to VA appraisals is there's two different ways to appeal the value if an appraisal were to come in low. The first one's called Tidewater, which is initiated by the appraiser if they don't think they can meet the value of the purchase contract on a property. The second thing is called reconsideration of value. And this comes after an value is assigned where the buyer can request a review by the VA of the appraisal to try and get a certain amount of value back on the property. There's separate videos on both Tidewater and reconsideration of value that are worth watching. There's definite strategies to try and get those values back if you believe the appraiser was incorrect in their value of the property. One of the things I hear a lot is that VA appraisers always come in low. VA appraisers always screw the seller and the listing agent. You need to know that the VA appraisers are the same people that appraise FHA and conventional loans. There's no difference. VA appraisals are nothing to be afraid of. They're similar to FHA in terms of property requirements. There's two different ways to get value back if it were to come in low, and they work faster than conventional or FHA appraisals. These are huge advantages when you're trying to sell your home fast and help a veteran. Don't be afraid of VA appraisals. Consider VA offers.